As I was sitting there yesterday for Thanksgiving and almost going into a coma from all the food, I was thinking, you know, after you get done eating, wouldn't it be nice to spray on a fragrance that had some coffee in it as you're drinking your coffee and maybe snuggling away on the couch or on a chair or something comfortable like that and maybe reading a little bit and just take it nice and easy. So at that point I was thinking, do I have any fragrances that have the note of coffee in them? Uh, I don't have too many, but I did go upstairs and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video of fragrances that have a coffee note in it that you can wear to relax. So if you're interested in a coffee lineup, stay tuned. I do realize when I say stay tuned, many of you younger people probably don't even know what that means. Back in the day, you used to have to tune your radio or your TV to a certain station. It wasn't just a click of a button, you actually had to turn a dial. So that's where that comes from, stay tuned. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Peter from Centrail. I'm glad that you're here. I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving or great holiday if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. Most of these fragrances I have in my own collection. I don't have a shop or anything like that. I actually go out and purchase those on my own. I've been doing so for years and I have quite a few. And every now and then I make a video of, you know, different kinds of fragrances that I have. And this one today is about the note of coffee. Now I have uh, about six of them in front of me. Join me if you get anything out of this at all, you know, afterwards, once you watch the video, I would appreciate it if you, you know, hit the like, maybe even subscribe so we can see each other more often. I really do appreciate it. And now let's dive right into our fragrances that have some coffee in it. The first one that I picked when I walked upstairs and I sprayed, because I remember, I think I saw that there was a coffee note in it when I purchased it, was one from Polo, Ralph Lauren, and it's the Polo, Re Polo Red Extreme, I think it is. Now, I thought it had more coffee in it, but when I sprayed it, I did realize that, you know, mostly what I smell in this one is going to be the cranberry, and it doesn't have too much coffee. So this one didn't make the list. I know it features coffee in here, but not enough to actually make it a coffee fragrance to me. It's mostly fruity, and the cranberry is very strong. And as it dries down, it's going to have some amber and leather in it. But it's not a coffee fragrance. So this one didn't make the cut. But my next one did. And it is a fragrance that is by a unusual name called Halloween. Halloween came out in 2019. And it was formulated by a fellas named, named Nicholas. And it has way too many U's in it for me to pronounce it. I'll put it up here if you can read that to me. <laughs> Halloween came out in 2019 and the opening notes in this one is going to be the note of cardamom. Let's give this one another spray. I have it on, I have to dry down on here. I sprayed it a few hours ago to see what, where this, wow, powerful spray, did you see that? And uh, the opening note in this one is going to be cardamom. You're going to have some lavender in this one. So it's a little bit on the fresher side. The coffee note doesn't really come in until it dries down just a little bit as it is accompanied by some whiskey, some cinnamon, and there's also gonna be a leather note in the dry down. Now, many people like this Halloween Man fragrance from 2019. I don't find myself wearing it too much. I did get it, and I can see why people would like it. The projection and longevity of this one is going to be on the average side with the longevity just a tad bit better than it, than it projects. You can get this one at a really good price on the, at the online sellers. And that's Halloween Man X, I believe it is. The next one is gonna be along the same lines. It's been around for a while. I have a bottle of it here. It's a really good one if you like it just a little bit sweeter. And this is going to be Rojas and it's Man from 1999, I believe it was. Rojas Man starts off immediately with a lavender and bergamot as you spray it. Now it has the same lavender as the Halloween, even though it omits that doesn't have the um, cardamom that the Halloween had. Let's give this one a spray as well. Also a nice powerful sprayer. It's a really unique flask or flacon. Came out in 1999, it's been around a long time. People still really wear this one and really love it. This has a note of cappuccino or coffee in it and also has some raspberry, some jasmine, a little bit of uh, lily of the valley. 
And as it dries down, there's going to be a good amount of vanilla and some amber and also some sandalwood and some patchouli. It's a really nice one. You can buy this one at a really good price online. It's been around since 1999, so it's really a good deal for a fragrance that has a coffee note in it on the sweeter side with a hint of raspberry. And of course, the newer flocons or the newer bottles that you buy now, the longevity and protection is just going to be on the medium side. It's not going to be too great. It's not going to fade away immediately. You know, you're going to get a good five hours out of it, five to six hours before you like stay, you know, stuck in the dry down. It's a good fragrance. And you can get it at a really good price. And that's a Rojas from 1999. Rojas Man, I believe it was. The next one is going to be a Salvatore Ferragamo uh, from the Uomo line. And it is, I believe, the Signature. This one came out, or Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo Signature came out in uh, 2018. Master perfumer Alberto Morias is behind this fragrance. Let's give it a spray too. There we go. I haven't sprayed it in a while. I guess I sprayed it earlier, but... I guess not enough. Now I do really like this fragrance. It is a little bit more refined. It's, it's, it's a smoother fragrance and no more lavender or violet or raspberry. What we have in this one at the beginning is going to be pink pepper and there's a little bit of a mandarin at the very top. And as it dries down, you're going to have some cinnamon and there's going to be some cardamom in the dry down and also a little bit of cypress and the leather and the roasted coffee really going to, really going to come out with the uh, patchouli. So it, the fragrance deepens quite a bit as it wears down. Master perfumer Alberto Morias is behind this one. It's a 2018 fragrance. Many love this one. I think the whole line is really kind of a, a nice uh, a nice line. The original too uh, smells a little bit like tiramisu if you like it a little bit sweeter. It's a really good one and you can often find these at like your TJ Maxx or TK Maxx's or something like that. You can often find this fragrance. It's a good pickup for you know around $30-40 dollars if you find it. The projection and longevity of Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo signature one is going to be on the longer side. You're going to get a good seven, eight hours out of it. And when you first spray it, it does protect quite a bit. So it's a, it's stronger than the first two. My next one is going to be hard to find this one. Uh, I have a bottle here. It used to be my signature scent way back in the day. And I still have a bottle and I sprayed it for the first time today. And I remembered how good it was. I don't know why they don't make it anymore. Uh, I guess it just didn't sell too well. And it is a Givenchy and it's the Play Intense. And I've always really liked this one. It came out in 2008. It looks just like this. Actually, if you find a bottle like this online, you can expect to pay quite a bit for it since they don't make it anymore. And this bottle, I mean, I still got a, a good bit left in it, so I have it for a while. Let's give it a spray. And it's sort of rubberized on the outside. Really cool bottle. And I do remember this scent from back in the day when I wore it. Now it opens up with a little bit of a mandarin. There's some bergamot in there. And the coffee note is going to be right as it first starts settling down almost from the very beginning. There's some pink pepper in here, so a little bit of amiris uh, as it dries down. And then finally you're going to have some patchouli and the tonka bean in the base of this fragrance. The amiris is a little bit of a green note and there's also some laptinum in the very base. Now I bought this bottle in, you know, when it first came out in 2008. And uh, today, if you were to buy this one, I think it's on, you can buy it on Amazon for like $299. And I think I paid less than $100 for it when I bought this one. So it's gone up quite a bit and you can't find it anymore. Now, the next one, however, you can find and it's readily available. It's, one, it's a little bit of a coffee scent, a little bit of a gourmandish scent that you can wear to go out in. Uh, it's a beautiful, elegant scent. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's nice, it's smooth, it's soft, and definitely you can wear this one with a suit or something like that if you go out. And it's going to be a Valentino, and it's Valentino Uomo. Valentino Uomo was created in 2014 by master perfumer Olivier Polge. And I really love wearing this one because it has a little, an elegant, soft vibe to it. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit on the gourmand side, like I said earlier, it's going to have some hazelnut in it, which makes it, which gives it a little bit of a Nutella vibe. There's also going to be some chocolate in there. Uh, it starts off with myrtle and bergamot at the very top, 
But for me, it immediately is right there at the hazelnut and the chocolate and the roasted coffee beans. I really like this one. Now I put a pretty good dent in this one. In the summertime, I don't wear this. I wear it mostly in the fall and winter time. It's a nice, soft, elegant fragrance. In the summertime, I wear the, um, the Aqua. Now this one is not going to have the hazelnut. It's a little bit of a different composition. Uh, in the Aqua, we have different notes in there. Let's see, it's gonna be a tomato at the very top and you're gonna have orange and sage patchouli and a little bit of an iris note in the aqua. So it's not the same. So I wear this one in the summer or in, the, in you know when it's a little bit warmer outside and definitely stay with the coffee one with the roasted coffee, chocolate and hazelnut. It's a beautiful gourmand that's really relaxing but not as much as the next one. The next one is a really relaxing one that after a heavy dinner, like I said, or something when you come home and you're tired and you just wanna relax, snuggle up on the couch with a cup of coffee, maybe read something and just beautifully soft coffee. And it's gonna be one by Mason Margiela, Coffee Break. Mason Martin Margiela, the house launched this fragrance in 2019. It's a beautiful, soft coffee fragrance. And I just really love wearing this one when I just want to hang out at the house, wear something light colored, eat nothing too heavy, just kind of really sit back and relax. This doesn't project a whole lot. It's going to sit in closer right from the get go. It's a little bit more on the expensive side. I mean, I think I think I bought this one at one of the retailers and, you know, 150 bucks after taxes or something like that which is quite a bit for a fragrance that doesn't project too, too much, but this one is going to stay on your skin for quite a while. Now the projection is, like I said, very limited, but you're gonna have some orange, some pepper, there's gonna be some patchouli right off the top, but it's all very faint and soft. This one, to me, is a good bit lactonic with the coffee, and there's a lavender note in there, which is completely soothing. It's a beautiful, soft note that I just really go crazy spraying. I mean, I spray it on my arms, I spray it on my shirt, and then I just sit back and I relax. As it dries down, you're gonna have a little bit of vanilla, some cedar, but mostly this fragrance for me stays pretty linear. As you spray it at the beginning, that's kind of how it stays the entire time. It's a soft, smooth, like imagine sitting somewhere, you know, reading a book dressed in white, maybe a little comforter or a little sheet over you, a little soft, gentle breeze or walking by a coffee shop. If you walk by a coffee shop when it's cooler outside and the kind of coffee hits you a little bit, but it's faint, it's not very strong, not very powerful. You can almost feel the, the cozy warmth of the coffee kind of all around you. I really adore this one for the nice comfortable days when I just don't really want an overwhelming fragrance and something just a little bit lighter. So those are the ones that I have in my collection. Now I may have some other ones with uh, the coffee note in it. I don't, I don't remember though. If you have some ones that are some coffee note fragrances that you really like, that uh, you think I should go out and experience and maybe even purchase, let me know in the comments. I would love to expand my coffee uh, fragrance collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got anything out of this at all, I do hope you join us at or join me at Centrail. I want to thank you in advance. Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice, and I will talk to you soon. Until then, Central.